it's April with Hair 101. Today we're going to do a haircut on Tayden. He is my cute little neighbor. And we're going to do it. It's called the Slick Rick, right? Is that what it's called? And he's going to get it for his back to school. So basically what it is, is it's really, really short, like just an open blade clipper all the way around. And it has kind of a solid, not blended line around. And then the top of it is just going to be probably half of what this is short. And you'll just kind of sweep it to the side. It's kind of an old school hair back or throwback haircut, whatever, but it's really fun and he's gonna look awesome. So, we're gonna just go ahead and start. He's already had this haircut, so we're kind of just trimming it up. You're gonna start on the right side and just open your clippers. This is open, okay? I better show you for people that don't know. So, this is closed where it's really short and it cuts a lot shorter. This is open, it just gives you a teeny bit more length. So you have this little lever on the edge of your clippers. Just make sure that it's as tall and open as it can get. And then you're just gonna start and you're just gonna go from the ear and just kind of make it all the way up. So with your hand, hold the hair on the top away so you're not gonna be cutting any of that. And you're just gonna keep doing that around. And you don't have to be 100% perfect on your line right here. Just make it really close because you can go back through with the little peanut clippers and clean it up when you're done. <laughs> Is that a whistle? Yeah. Awesome. Alright, you can see sometimes there's like these little lines in the hair, it's just kind of how the hair grows or it could be something with your clippers, so you need to just cross check it. So you can go back in and just go a different direction against the, the grain that you were going and it should just clean it up. You see that? So any of those little problems can be fixed with that. Are you getting itchy? Nope. Nope. All right, we're just moving around the side here. You got some little scars on your head. Did you fall down, get a bump? <laughs> Looks like they did. You're a boy. For sure. Uh, all the way. There we go. Okay, look straight right here. So you want to make sure that when you're doing the sides, they're looking straight so that you don't have a crooked line to go off of. Alright, so now you just kind of go through and check, you see this little cowlick? Then we're going to take some of that off. So with stuff like this, this might just be from when he's, where he slept on it, since his hair was dry. But you can take the clippers really softly and just kind of blend that in a little bit. But we're also going to cut that later, so that's just a little trick, you can just kind of play with it but all right so now we're gonna do we're gonna do the top now so we're gonna cut with scissors on the top so we're gonna spray it and get it wet 
It's a lot easier to cut wet hair with scissors than, than dry hair. And it's a lot better for your shears too. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to start on the right front side. What we're going to do is we're just going to take it up like this and right about where your fingers start. You're just going to cut that off. There we go. And we're going to do that all the way around it. Okay, so if you have a calic on the very top of the head that sticks straight up and you don't want to do that, you're going to want to try to leave a little bit more length back there. So on this back part, we can just take it up a little bit and kind of chip away. That way when it lays down, it's still going to have that look of having it combed over and not all short and spiky. There we go. Let's turn this around as you can see. So this is going to be where most people have a calyx, so we'll just take it up and chop it out. See, and it still has enough length to where it can lay down. So we're just going to go and take about half of that length off of the top. And it should blend into your edges. When I pulled it up, you could see that there was about that much length on each side that was shorter. I'll do it again right here and show you. See this? It's short, long, and then short because of what we did before. We're just going to go through that top section and just chip it out. I like point cutting for stuff like this because it needs to look blended. And we're also going to go through with the thinning shears to kind of blend it in a little bit more. All right. Okay, so you can see right here on this side that the line dips down a little bit. Now that we got that hair kind of out of the way, we can go through and clean this up. So we're going to go through with our clippers on this underneath part again. And we're going to do this. Okay, so now you can even take this and just kind of like softly draw in the line. You're just going to try to keep it as straight as you can. And I'm not pushing this really hard against the head. I'm just kind of softly making that a little bit cleaner shape. You got a little itch on your earbud? There you go. All better, right? Okay.
All right, so then I'm going to take the comb up right here just to blend it in a little bit. There you go. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm combing that hair down just to make sure we don't have any long pieces. And I'm just very, very lightly, not pushing into a scalp, going through and just kind of giving it a little bit more of a solid line look. Now if you push all the way down onto the scalp, you're going to get too hard of a line because it's going to cut a little bit more than what you have down here. And so if you do that, you're going to have to go through with the clipper closed all the way like that and redo your edges so that it blends. So you can fix it if that does happen, but you're not going to want to do that. So. I'm just kind of taking it and sticking the comb up underneath and then pulling it downward and just taking a little bit of that edge off. And that kind of gives it that little blended look. All right, let's have a look at this. All right, so the only thing I see now is just this little spot right here where it's kind of like a cowlick. I'm gonna make sure by getting it wet just to see what it's doing. And going back through it with the scissors. It's just a little bit long. Also, stuff like this is really, really easy to fix with your shears, your thinning shears. There we go. Okay, so to finish it off, I'm going to go back through with the thinning shears and just clip into all of the ends, just on the tips. And there it is, a little bit longer on this side where he would have like a little spike poking up because when we comb it over. So that's okay, just hit it with the thinning shears a little bit and if it looks good when it's done, leave it. It's better than having like a piece of hair sticking up right there. So, all right, and look in the mirror. Let's see if we got it all. There we have it. Let's give you a good spin. There is our Slick Brick Haircut. Thanks for being my little model today. You did good. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.